Well, the first ever gene editing therapy approved by the Food and Drug Administration, it's called Kosjevi, and the companies behind it, Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR. Joining us now is our Anjali Kimlani, as well as Vertex Pharmaceuticals CEO, Dr. Reshma Kawalrani. Thank you so much for being here, both of you. It's good to be here. Anjali, take it away. Thanks so much, Julie. Of course, we know that the drug is, or the cure rather, the treatment is the first to be approved. The FDA did approve uh, both Bluebirds as well as Vertex and CRISPR's gene editing for sickle cell today. And we do have, of course, Dr. Reshma Kamal Ramani with us today. Dr. Kamal Ramani, thank you for joining us. And, and I want to just ask you, first of all, momentous occasion. We know so much has been built up to this point. The accolades have already been won. Talk to me about now this next chapter for the treatment and sort of the, the long-term uh, sort of uh, follow-up that is needed to just see how it works. Well, thanks so much for having me on, Anjali. It is a huge day in science and medicine, and it's a particularly important day for patients with sickle cell disease. So what this medicine is, Casjevi, is the first CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing based therapy for sickle cell disease. And what we do here is take the patient's own cells, their own stem cells to our labs. We edit the cells and we give them their cells back with the defect corrected. And what the studies have shown is that patients who undergo this therapy have no more of these painful crises called VOCs, veno occlusive crises. Patients describe it as a Mack truck going up and down and up and down on their bodies. Patients describe this as worse than childbirth. And the studies show us that patients undergoing this therapy, it's a one-time therapy, no longer have these veno-occlusive crises to deal with. It is an amazing technology. The seminal papers were written just in 2012. The Nobel Prize was awarded for this um, this discovery in 2020. And here we are in 2023 with an FDA approved product for sickle cell disease patients. Absolutely. And we know, of course, this one-time treatment is requires multiple steps to get to the finish line, but the reward, of course, being not to have to worry about this disease. We know that the short-term look at it uh, has brought on the approval for the FDA with, of course, on the label, a look to the future as we get more information on this new technology, how confident are you that the future holds no concerns of off gene editing or you know, any other concerns that you might have? You know, as a medical doctor and as a physician scientist, we always have to be humble. We have to be aware and we have to follow our patients over the long term. That being said, and we will be doing that, um, we will be following our patients um, over a many year period. This is a very precise gene edit. It's a durable gene edit. And all of the data that we've seen to date, including long-term follow-up as long as up to four years, tells us that this is a therapy that is incredibly effective and we have seen no safety concerns in terms of this concept of off-target editing. We simply haven't seen any of that. Well, that's wonderful. I know that oh, you've already set the price tag for that a little bit lower than the other gene therapy that was out there. You've had these conversations with the government and payers. Talk to me about the value that you see there and, and why this price tag and what you see moving forward if any potential changes. The price tag for Casjevi is 2.2 million. And remember that is for this one-time therapy. As we think about the price, it's always about the value that our medicines bring for patients. And in this disease, it is a devastating disease. It is a life-shortening disease. And when you think about the cost to the healthcare system over the lifetime of a patient with severe sickle cell disease, the kind of patient who would be eligible for our therapy, that number is between four and six million dollars, not including the humanistic burden to the patient or their families.
And we've priced the medicine to be able to bring this incredible value, this one-time therapy for potentially a lifetime of cure. And we want our medicine to be accessible to as many eligible patients as possible. Definitely uh, the focus on that, as many patients as possible. We know that this disease does have a specific demographic. There are minorities in particular that are largely affected. Do you anticipate this price tag being a burden? And do you have any plans in place for access in case someone is unable to, to pay for it? One of the reasons that I'm so very proud of um, this Kashjevi approval today is because sickle cell disease and the sister disease, beta thalassemia, affect black and brown people. And these have been diseases that have been largely ignored for many, many years, both in terms of the healthcare system and in terms of drug development. We have done a lot to make sure that not only do we have a first in class medical therapy, but that we have done everything to make sure that this is a therapy that's accessible to patients. So uh, the way that this drug works is that you need to have it administered in a authorized treatment center or an ATC. We've already activated nine of them. Most of our patients with sickle cell disease live in 25 states, and we've very thoughtfully organized to make sure that these ATCs are in the states in which our patients live. With regard to the um, the reception of this uh, therapy by patients, physicians, payers, governments, regulators, anyone who touches a patient with sickle cell disease, the enthusiasm level has been high and there are indeed payment paths in place and the conversations have been going on for well over a year. And I feel high confidence that patients in the U.S. will have access to Kashjevi. Absolutely. Well, certainly a historic day for science, as you mentioned before, and certainly for this new technology that we know is just, this is just the beginning. So congratulations again, Dr. Reshma Kewal-Ramani, CEO of Vertex. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you so much.